everyone, Kristen here from Team Brushnet and today I'm going to show you all how to create your very own race and collect game using Brushnet's Rev and Ride template. To get started, head to the official website which is brushnet.io and scroll down until you see the game templates. Look for the Rev and Ride template and press the create button to open the editor. Once the editor has been opened, You'll notice that we can customize different aspects of our game located on the left and right hand side. We'll start with the customization options on the left side. Click the avatar tab on the top left hand side of the editor to open up all the different options that we can change our car into. You'll notice here cool things like tanks, aircrafts, and more, but I think for my game I'm going to go with this cool red car. Next, we'll pick a background for our game. Click the background tab on the left side of the editor. There are quite a few different options, so make sure to scroll through and find one that you like. I think that I am going to go with this one. Now it's time to add some obstacles to our game. Click the Obstacles tab. For my game, I'm going to add these two striped signs here as obstacles. We should add some objects in our game for our players to collect. To do that, we'll click on the Collectibles tab. For my game, I think I just want players to collect round objects, so I'll add things like this ball here, this ball, this item, and this item. Now we're going to customize non-collectibles. Click the non-collectibles tab on the left side of the editor. Non-collectibles are items that you want your players to dodge. Typically when a player runs into a non-collectible in games, they either lose health or score points. Now it's time to pick a music track for our game. Click the music tab on the left side of the editor. You can press the play button to preview any of the tracks, and once you find one that you like, you can press the plus sign to add it to your project. I think I'll use this track called Inward in my game. Now that we're done with customizing the options on the left side, we'll take a look at the options on the right side of the editor, starting with the Game Info tab. Inside the Game Info tab, we can customize our game's title, tags, category, and description. We'll start by customizing the title. Since my game is all about collecting round items, I'm going to title this game Round Racer. Next, we'll customize our game's tags. For my tag, I'm just going to add round and shape. And round shapes as well. Next, we'll choose the category for our game. Category options include Games for Good, Enterprise, Education, Social and Entertainment, and Health. For my game, I'm going to leave it at Social and Entertainment. Now we can choose whether or not we'd like to collect our players' emails. For my game, I'm going to leave this option off, but if you'd like to turn it on, all you have to do is click this button here. Now we'll customize our game's description. For my game's description, I'll put Collect round objects and avoid everything else. Now that we've finished customizing our description, we can scroll back up to the top and click on the Levels tab to the right side of the Game Info tab. You'll notice that by default, we're customizing Level 1. If you ever want to go in and add more levels to your game, just click the Add Level button. But for the purpose of this video, We'll just be customizing level 1 to keep it simple. You'll notice that the avatar and background that you selected show up here as well. So we can jump into customizing our introduction. For my game's introduction, I'm going to put Get Ready to Race. Next we'll customize our levels question. This is where we tell the player what to collect. Since I only want players to collect round items in my game, I'm just going to put Collect Round Items. Now we'll customize our game's closing answer. This is the text that will pop up at the end of the level, whether the user has completed the level successfully or not. Here, I will just put thank you for playing my game. After that, we'll define a completion score for our game. The completion score is the score required to beat the level. Now we'll check out the collectibles. We added a couple of round objects earlier, but you'll notice that there are also some defaults as well that we can remove by pressing the X button. I'm going to remove everything that's not a round object and customize my score a little bit as well. Now we'll look through our non-collectibles and press the X button to all the ones that we don't want with all the defaults here. So this is how I'm gonna keep it. 
Now we'll check out the obstacles in our games, and much like the collectibles and non-collectibles, there are some defaults here that we'll probably have to delete by pressing the X button. I just want these stripe signs left, so that looks good to me. We finished up with our game's customization, and now it's time to publish. Click the publish button at the top of the editor. Now you can press the copy URL button to share your game with your friends and family. Or if you want, you can press play to jump right into playing your game.